What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to part two. Now, I'm going to roughly summarize part one for you. What we did, sat down, and I asked ChatGPT to give me ideas for a video. Just because I think it kind of spices it up a little bit. I don't do the same thing all the time. Went through, and I'm like, nah, that's not bad. That's not bad. We settled on dissecting some fan theories. So I went through, and I dissected these four fan theories. I'll give you a rough synopsis of what my thoughts were in this one, or you can go watch that previous video. Thanks so much. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content, or me, or whatever. Follow me at, at BradicalYT on Twitter, or X. And let's give you guys that summary. So the first one, Goku's true identity, saying that he potentially is a being that is meant to be... You know, all this stuff, you can read it on the screen right there for you. I love the idea, because technically speaking, Bardock was the first Super Saiyan. Not really, it's not canon. Um, I love the idea, but Yamoshi is pretty much canonized nowadays to be the first like Super Saiyan God. It, pretty much, there's not much leeway unless somehow Goku's reincarnation of that. I don't think Toriyama thinks that deep. Gohan is the main character. I always thought this was true. I actually really genuinely was behind the fact that yeah, Gohan is probably the main character. He's going to be the main character. And then they were like, whoa, hey, what's going on with sales and stuff? I've never looked at the sales numbers, but it wouldn't shock me if people in the 90s were like people nowadays and they're like, what do you mean his son is taking over? I like to watch Goku. It wouldn't shock me. Beerus and Whis is true purpose, very vague, uh, saying that they're deeper than they are. I don't think so. I mean, it pretty much goes Zeno, his guards, Grand Priest, Gods of Destruction. Well, Whis, and then Gods of Destruction. Um, I think that's pretty much their purpose. Kill things, and then Whis trains other beings to kill things. I think that's about it, really. Future Trunks timeline. There's a theory saying Future Trunks is split off. That's exactly how Future Trunks works. Is it split off into an entirely different reality? Because that's kind of how time travel works if it was real time travel is theoretical it's not a real thing maybe it is i don't know but either way the main thing is that when you go to the future that future is now your present it's no longer your future so it's different either way all right let's get in for this last four of them there's four more theories we're gonna sit down we're gonna talk about and see what we think about them the dragon balls origin some fans theorize that the dragon balls were created by an ancient and powerful race of beings possibly even for the Saiyans or the Mechians, to serve a per Well, we pretty much know that. I don't know. I don't think the Super Dragon Balls... Now I have to look it up, but I don't want to look it up on my phone. I have to look it up, though. Where you at? Give me this, Google. We're doing this in live time. Hopefully you guys like these. Who created the Super Dragon Balls... Uh, in DBS. Dragon Ball Super. Who created the Super Dragon Ball? So Zalama, which is, is he the guy that knows everything? I'm pretty sure that is Zalama. No, who the hell is Zalama? Oh, he's a Super Dragon. Okay, so yeah, he's just the big, big dragon. He's just a dragon god. Uh, see, we're learning things. We're learning. It's the big yellow uh, Shenron, essentially. So. I mean, that pretty much right there, if that's just on the internet. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. I don't remember all the little tiny in-depth details. But I'm pretty sure the Demekians would have just learned it from someone. But no, there's no other purpose. Us, I don't think. Again, Dragon Ball Super can change whatever they like to change. If you'd asked me a question about, like, Vegito Blue, or Vegito, he wouldn't have been blue at that time. Like, six years ago, I'd have been like, yeah, dude, the fusion split off because they were inside Boo's body. That's not a thing anymore. Canon can change. Um... I don't know what other purpose they would serve beyond wish granting, though. Like, maybe they're tied something inherently, and we'll see in the future. Like, the Moro arc, maybe they shift something up and... Oh, no, we got the a new Dragon Ball GT because we all made wishes. Who knows? Goku's origin. A theory posts that... A theory... Oh, posits? Posits? Whatever. That Goku's origins are more complex. Suggesting he is an al... What? Well, I think that's the same as, yeah, Goku's true identity and Goku's origin. Um, we could probably skip that. I don't know. Did you guys, I don't know if you guys know this. Goku is an origin, uh, an alien. It, he does, he, well, all right. We're going to chalk that one up as that's just, uh, yeah, they just duped up on that one. <laughs> I didn't read these because I want to do these in real time. So, I mean, Goku's origin is... Bardock and Gine had Raditz. Raditz was off the world with Vegeta and Nappa. And then the planet was going to get blown up by Frieza. Bardock sent Goku off. 
Gohan found him. Goku fell, hit his head, became a good guy. That's Goku's origin. Now, 100%, he could be the prophesized, like we said, Yamoshi in the previous one. I'm not doubting that. I, I kind of think Toriyama was just like, look, he's strong, and he looks like Sun Wukong. That's it. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Broly's connection to the legendary, uh, to the Super Saiyan. God, ooh. There's a theory that Broly may be connected to the legend of the Super Saiyan God, and that his immense power and transformation could be a manifestation of ancient Saiyan legends. I mean, again, that's kind of, yeah. I, I would 100% agree with that, because he's tied to the Great Ape. I think. it's all That's all fan theory type stuff. But, I mean, the way that Broly gets massive and then sizes back down a little bit like how Kale did it, um, to me, that screams a connection to the Great Ape. And when you watch Yamoshi's story, they're talking about all the Great Apes rampaging in Battle of Gods. Um, when Shenron's given the story and that one of them managed to harness that power and, you know, five lead hard Saiyans and became the, the Super Saiyan God. So I could see that. I've always just kind of seen Broly as a... As like a way to say this is what happens when you can master the Uzaru, but I mean realistically Bardock and them would have mastered the Uzaru. Vegeta could already control it when he was in his base form in the Saiyan Saga. He controlled what he was like as a great ape. So I don't know how much that ties. I kind of like this theory a little bit more that it directly connects to a god and him being a legendary Super Saiyan is just kind of another form of being a god. I like it. I, I'm yeah, I mean I like I like Broly a lot, so I like anything involving Broly, but still, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Namekian Dragon Balls and Shenron. Some believe that the Namekian Dragon Balls were originally intended to have different powers or restrictions before they were altered, which could explain some consistencies in their abilities. Some inconsistencies? Yeah, a little arrow blocking it. I mean, that makes sense. Um, I don't know what they would have been intended to have different powers, though. I'd have to look up in-depth details of that, but it wouldn't shock me because the Namekians are all about fuse. They, they live in an entirely different world to all the other planets that have, like, Dragon Balls. Um... I don't know. I just don't know what other powers. My brain's not able to expand beyond hey, whatever wish you want because that's that already covers everything. You want to bring someone back from the dead? Go ahead. You can even do it if their body's all sliced up, but they're gonna still be just like dead. They're gonna be alive for like one second. <laughs> so, I it, yeah. I mean, there's inconsistencies with their abilities because, it, as far as I know, it's dependent upon the Namekian that makes it. So, like Kami was pretty goddamn powerful. So the Dragon Balls that he was able to create were pretty damn powerful. Dende was just learning, so there was limitations. Parunga was created by, what's his name? I think the Elder uh, Elder Namekian. And he was pretty powerful, so they got three wishes out of it. So I think it, it fluctuates based upon that. But again, my brain doesn't let me think beyond, well, I mean, yep. You can get any wish you want. That's already pretty damn powerful. Especially the Super Dragon Balls, you can literally just be like, whatever, man. Give me that dude's body that I just fought, <laughs> like Zamasu does. You just snatch whatever you want. You'd have infinite power, like Granola. But they did take away Granola's life force, which is weird. I don't know, that's just, that's just Dragon Ball inconsistencies. Like, let's be honest. That's literally just Dragon Ball being inconsistent. And that's a, a common thing, <laughs> to say the least. Well, either way, that's part two of asking ChatGPT for stuff, and then we did fan theories. I'm going to tell you right now, it gave me a lot of ideas when I did this yesterday. Like, I did it, off, did it off camera and asked ChatGPT, hey, give me some ideas. There's a lot of stuff. So if you enjoy this style of content, just me talking in the background, we talk about it, we vocalize about Dragon Ball, whatever. You want to follow me on Twitter, RadicalYT. You can tweet me any of your thoughts on this stuff. I pretty much always respond to somebody tweeting me directly. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy it, leave a like, sub to the channel, and uh, thank you so much. I know it's been a bumpy ride getting content back out there. Not really. I feel exponentially better as a, just as a human being. I feel just really good about everything. Now I just gotta get YouTube moving again. But I was kinda waiting until Sparking Zero, but I just can't wait anymore. I gotta make videos. I gotta make videos. I can't. The second Sparking Zero got announced last year, I was like, I might just wait for that. But then it just started taking too long. So I gotta get back into the grind of this. But if you wanna see different content like this, alongside Legends, alongside whatever game we choose to play, sometimes we stream Tears of the Kingdom, whatever else, leave a like, subscribe. And, uh, you wanna leave a content? A comment? Content? If you'd like to leave your own content, I'll just steal it. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to. Thank you so much. Catch you around.